Greetings everybody, I am Xenonox, the one and only, and yours truly, the master of the universe. Here I am playing Brink, and I am beginning to be a lot better at the game as I uh, progress with my friends, Captain K. Rule and Half Black King, and other other friends that who have made got this game with me. The thing with Brink is that the game is heavily team-based, and without a good team, you usually suffer greatly from lack of support or even buffs and ammunition that may or may not be provided by your team. And mostly, so that's what happens when you have bots on the team. And usually the bots seem to be better players than half the time. So, with this game, without really good teammates, it can be quite frustrating. I used to play Monday Combat before I started playing Brink. And I just want to address some small issues related with Brink and Monday Night Combat here. Monday Night Combat has a huge learning curve and it's really difficult to just get into the game. Monday Night Combat also requires a lot of playtime before you can fully understand the game mechanics or the class and what your role is in the game. Lastly, the game it seems, seems to reward more, more um, selfish gain opposed to team oriented. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy playing Brink more, because Brink is not oriented on KD ratio. It's oriented on team objectives. As, as you can see, we have failed to pr protect the gates from being opened from the other team, and that therefore we are now forced to defend the safe instead. That's what happens when you don't work as a team. You usually end up letting the enemy team win and, you know, whatnot. And when that combat, of course, is also based on objectives, but the... Uh, but the game does not reward the players for being a team 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 players, and this game does. By just staying near the objectives, I will gain experience, if you will, for just simply defending the safe or, or even being near it. And of course, there's an algorithm where if there's enemies near the near the objective where I have to defend, of course, I will receive a lot more experience as I progress through the game. Another huge issue with Monday Night Combat, similar with a lot of other games I've played in the past, such as Halo, or even Monster Hunter series, of course, that I played on the PS2, PSP, and the main thing is it seems to be those kind of games, you are, it seems to have, you have a really high standard for yourself, meaning that every time you die, you're more frustrated than satisfied with the game. And that's really not how games should be. In fact, I, I wrote a topic back on game FAQs about doing some research about that. It's the main thing it seems to, like I say, once again, you have really high expectation to yourself. And the death, the death of such results and anger, not on the other person per se, really, but more to yourself. And so those kind of games, without a doubt, can be fun, but mostly end up in anger of, of this, which is rather unnecessary. A lot of people who play Monday Night Combat also complain of the lack of teamwork, but that's the main reason. There's no rewarding in team effort. Example would be support don't doesn't heal teammates because there's really no reward for it. In this game, of course, there's reward for everything: being a team player, reviving teammates, helping teammates, defending objectives. Of course, and of course, there's killing people as well. But the thing is, if you kill enemies as a group, you get even more experience. So this entire game just rewards you for being a team player and team objective. This game type you're watching us play right now is competition, meaning that there's friendly fire, so we have to be extremely careful, so we have to be extremely coordinated to avoid friendly fire of any type, and of course, also defend against enemies. We have an engineer, Captain Kero, who buffs my armor and my damage. He also buffed the armor and damage of all our teammates. Anybody you see that's purple is a is our is part of our fire team, so we know that we're together. And anybody else who is on the team is uh, highlighted in white. We have two medics on the team. Their their main job is to revive down down teammates and also heal teammates. And healing team is also provides them a huge buff in, ter in the health bar, giving us another h advantage against our enemies. The game progresses in 4 on 5, 
And the maximum players, of course, once again, is 5 on 5. So we've been actually playing against these guys down, down a teammate pretty much the entire game. My role in the game was a soldier. The soldier's role, of course, consists of using grenades, which is offense abilities, and of course, providing ammo to teammates. And the, since the soldier <coughs> needs to give ammo to teammates quite often, and myself as well, I also have the ability to scavenge uh, enemies' corpse to receive supply pips, which allows me to give ammunition to my teammates more, and of course, use grenades more as often as well. The main thing about this game, I say once again, is this game is focused on teamwork. And I really don't understand uh, the hate for this game because I all the games I played before, such as Halo, Gears of War, and everything. But while all those games you can play as a team, but there's no system that encourages you, encourage you to do so. So... And it's, the game becomes a lot more frustrating because let's say you're playing Gears of War, right? Let's say you're playing Gears of War 1, 4 on 4, execution on Gridlock, which is quite the first map of choice, I believe, on default, which is really popular as well as a map in a whole. Although I feel like the map is a bit unbalanced de despite the fact that it's symmetrical. But nonetheless, though, let's say you're the only one who ran on the sniper tower and then you get killed and everybody else had the boom shot. I don't expect you to know the game too well if you never play the game but the point is that <coughs> if you die first you don't really get any points or anything you don't ha you don't even respond till the next round you see what I'm talking about you may your team may win in the end but there's no reward it's all about points as well kills it's all about yourself there's no team there's just you and getting a lot of kills and that's why there's a lot of kill steal that happens in Halo and Call of Duty or and Gears of War because there's no reward This game rewards you for being a team player. Like I say once again, I'm just staying on this territory. I get points for it. And also, I get points for scavenging, for assisting teammates, giving them ammo, protecting them. I even get points if I get down and then they give me a revive syringe. I even get points for that, for reviving myself. In other words, being saved by my teammates. My teammates, as a medic, they gain points for healing, giving me metabolism, giving me speed boost, giving me adrenaline, they also give a lot of points for revives, which really encourage you, medics, to revive teammates. In this game, I get about 30, point, 30 experience per kill. Medic is 175 point experience for revives. You can see the mass, you can see the vast difference in such things. And of course, I got 52 points in that kill. That might also become because of the fact that I got the guard uh, defense experience. The experience is um, they accumulate, um, em em meaning that if I let's say I, if I get a kill and then I got the defense bonus, they will all add up in the middle. So they will just keep telling the total before it actually goes into your experience bar or the the right side of the screen, which shows you the total experience. This game type is friendly fire, or this game has friendly fire, which is the only thing I don't like about it because. When you when the friendly fire occurs, it's usually both teammates' fault unless it's intentional. I really think that <laughs> competition shouldn't have friendly fire because all the competitive games that I enjoy doesn't seem to have friendly fire. Although MLG Halo game types seems to have friendly fire, but Gears of War does have friendly fire, and neither does Monday Night Combat. <laughs> although Monday Night Combat doesn't have an MLG game type, but you get the general idea. People seem to have easily understood that I only play Monday Night Combat. In fact, I play a lot of different games, and Monday Night Combat was just one of the games I happened to stop by to kill to kill some time. And then, of course, it really really was a good game. Unfortunately, there's too many Monday Night Combat PC updates, meaning that all the new content is on the PC version, and there's really no content for the Xbox version where. That's what I mainly play, the Xbox 360 console. I could keep producing more Monday Night Combat gameplay, but my information is mostly outdated thanks to the PC version. So if I was to produce any more new content on Monday Night Combat that's worthwhile, it has to be 
with the updates to show you how to play the assault, how to play sniper, how to play any of the classes with the update so we can keep ourselves up to date. It really frustrates me to have a lot of players who are extremely seem to be more or less hypocritical if you will. They I always go on the forums on Monday Night Combat and I see a lot of complaint posts about how they play a game and how they, you know, they're the only one that does anything, which is true, I'm not gonna lie, because I play a lot of kind of games like that too. And it's actually really frustrating, but they play the game anyways while complaining. And then they tell me Monday Night Combat is one of the best games ever. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's, if it's that frustrating, if it's not that not fun, then, it's, then there's no point playing. Um, of course, one of the best ways for Monday Combat is to get friends and play with it, but then, of course, that just mostly becomes a steamroll, and that's also boring. So, all in all, in general, the game just doesn't seem to be that fun anymore for me to play, while I still get pretty much, if, uh, if you watch any of, my, any of my past Monday com Combat videos, most of the gameplay I get mostly, you know, revolves about 30 kills and zero deaths, meaning like a flawless, undefeated record. But if, if but is that truly fun? I don't know. <laughs> I've been doing that for quite a bit too long. If you look at the leaderboards, you'll probably still see me on the top ten. And I can guarantee you that once you reach that point, probably the game won't be as fun. And so I definitely seek something new and fresh, such, such as such as Brink, which rewards me for playing the class correctly, by far. I don't really get much reward as a support when I play. When in that combat, and it's kind of upsetting sometimes, <laughs> but I still find ways to make lots of money despite the fact that I'm a support. But in competitive play, there is just no room for me to make any money to help my team in the long run. In this, uh, let's just talk about Brink for a little bit here because, the, after all, this is a Brink gameplay video, and to not talk about Brink can be a bit strange. I mean, the gameplay itself. So, the competition, the default. Oh, friendly fire. <laughs> and yeah, of course, you get negative experience for friendly fire, which is rather unfortunate. But like I can say once again, no matter how good you are, friendly fire is bound to happen. Because you are playing with four different minds, or five different minds in the game. You have five different brains. All thinking about different things and of course uh, because of such easily there could easily be miscommunic miscommunication between one and another and this is why I even like this is why I like competition even more because while friendly fire can be a pain in the ass but this encourages teammates even more there are times where we fight against enemies and they do they sprint and slide and they hit each other <laughs> with their slides <laughs> and then they hit them into their into our proc like uh, our landmines and then the other teammate also was about to throw a grenade so he got hit by the slide and his, his grenade fell on the ground and that grenade blew up his other teammate so essentially they defeated themselves and I think it might be in this gameplay we'll, see, you'll see, we'll eventually see in the kill feed if it's true if not then we'll, of course we'll just ignore that In this gameplay, um, it's competition game type once again. It's 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 a lot cleaner with five on five. We played we played standard back in the day, but the lag was unbearable with Brink, which is the only disadvantage I see with this game, along with possibly the heavy class, heavy weight class being extremely uh, ineffective in terms of health. Although it can be a lot more effective if you work with a team. But individually, though, it seems to be really lacking in power. The lot of he extra health seems to be insignificant, and Captain Kero and I believe that maybe the maybe it will be better if he just gets a little bit of extra health. I mean, extra defense, kind of like a Kevlar armor, which can be stacked with. But then that might be a, v a little bit overpowered. So I mean, obviously, I'm not a. I don't have the data for all the damage increase or damage uh, defense uh, reduction. I mean damage reduction, so I can't really say for sure. But so far, though, it seems to have the heavy weight class seems to be kind of on the par and not worthwhile, de despite the powerful weapons that you can use, which seems to be outclassed by assault rifles and SMGs all in general. <laughs> which is kind of weird because um, you think you think heavy you think like the medium gun will be really powerful to the point where it's just unbelievably, uh, you know. Sh just overpowering, but apparently the minigun just seems to take too long to rev this gun, and this just seems to be really <laughs> effective even in terms of damage. 
Buffing the damage might be a bit too much too, but the ref time definitely takes too long. With that said, it also can be argued that the heavy weight class is a support type, so he must stay with his teammates to be effective. Which goes back to team, te being a team player. Being the light armor can be great, like a scout running around checking points, and then of course a light armor medic can get to down players easily and then escape the enemy easily as well, even though he can only use the SMG, but... The SMG does have a good, does pack a punch, and of course the the class does allow um, mobility, and it's the only class that can wall jump and get to like anywhere on the map. Medium classes can't wall jump, so there's a lot of the limited to them, and of course the heavy class is, can't really get anywhere higher than its waist from what I've read. So that's also a disadvantage for the heavy class. With that said, the light armor, li lightweight class definitely does have very little health, so that's why. You have to work as a team. Kevlar armor, health boost, maybe some with pat metabolism to keep the to keep yourself alive better. And of course, flanking enemies and working as a team. I believe at this point, um, most of the enemies have already left the game, so I believe it was four on five on two and whatnot. I understand that the uh, the gameplay might look a little bit boring, but uh, it's a lot, I really like the idea of focusing as a team, working together. You know, this game is not like Call of Duty whatsoever, and it might be a little bit similar to Battlefield Bad Company because of the the, the very few classes and the realistic like shooter. But the main difference with this game is kind of like Monday Combat. When something goes wrong, you know what what went went wrong, and there's something you can do about to prevent it as a team. There is there is no one man team that does not exist whatsoever. Even in Monday Combat, which I'm sure a lot of people do enjoy because they feel like they have a lot more control to play the game, and then fix the problem themselves. But they fail to realize that in any game you play online, it's a team versus team battle. As people seem to have forgotten that a lot of games are let's let's for, let's say for Monday Combat, since most of my viewers are Monday Combat oriented players, that is pro versus pro. It's not pro versus bot or bot versus bot. It's pro versus pro. So you have to work as a team to overcome the enemies and win the game as a whole. There is no Dinox, the master of the universe, versus a six-man team. Well, that can happen, but against any decent players, that is just Im impractical and well silly to even consider that it's something that's go <laughs> gonna work so and of course the landmine destroyed that guy as he desperately tried to unlock this the safe by itself see like the class in the game there's always a need for any class in the game such as engineer soldier medic and then operatives let's let's just talk about the very short things about each classes because the I'm not sure how much you understand about the game, but the the soldier is the one that does like explosive uh, objectives, meaning that he has to blow some stuff up, like a gate or or a wall, in the destructible wall. And then of course he's the one who provides ammunition to the team. Engineers are the one that can um, open up a s like a lock safe using his fire, what whatever. I don't know his tools. <laughs> and then he's also the one who can buff damage and armor on the team. He's also the one who plant, plant landmines and thus uh, sentries around the map to guard area safely. He's definitely an excellent player for offense and defense, depending on how your team is, is uh, adjust. And then you have the medic, who of course you can focus on healing, buffing extra health, and simply just making the team better. So he doesn't exactly do any objectives, but he's a must-have on the team to make sure the team has the advantage. And of course, this is allows the team to do its job well. And lastly, um, the operatives are some... Uh, personally, we, me, my team, the current, my fire team feels like the operatives are a bit underpowered, although the comp hack allows the, um, allows the entire team, the, the t our team, to see where they're at. Like, all their dead corpse and all their lo current location. So that's a nice plus. But other than that, it doesn't seem to be have any you know, it doesn't really seem to provide any support to the team like all the other classes do, like ammunition giving, health uh, health buff, health buffing, and damage and armor buffing. You see what I'm talking about? It doesn't feel like the operative is really worth playing for a team-oriented base. 
the only thing we the only reason why we would need an operative as this current state so actually we only have a four man out of five man team so we're actually looking for a fifth player who plays operative but uh, like I said once again the only reason why we might need an operative is just because of the objectives where they have to hack stuff so <laughs> so that's probably it but as you can see you know the reason why we play soldier, medic, and engineer is because we complement each other and we're all working as a team together. And so, I understand a lot of viewers want to see more Monday Night Combat gameplay, but the thing is, I'm already a jackpot on Monday Night, Com uh, on Monday Night Combat. I've been playing it a bit far too long, and lastly, I really like team-oriented games like this one. I, just, I don't understand the hate, but hopefully you guys will understand where I'm coming from. Thanks for watching.